Companies are opening up their wallets in a very big way, lobbying on issues related to AI and potential regulation when it comes to that red hot tech. Our Megan Casella joins us now from D.C. with much more. Megan, good morning. Good morning, Frank. The number of companies trying to influence AI regulation hit a record in 2023. Data from Open Secrets here shows more than 450 organizations lobbied on issues related to AI last year. And that's a 185 percent increase between 2022 and 2023. There's a broad range of industries in the mix here, too. It's not just tech firms, which are all in, but so are retailers, pharma companies, unions, universities, you name it, and they're probably on the list. And a lot of the biggest names in the space just started lobbying on AI in 2023. That includes AMD, NVIDIA, OpenAI, Qualcomm, and Cisco. Now, this comes as businesses are hoping to shape the Biden administration's new AI regulations. And today is the deadline for firms to file public comment on guidelines that will be focused on AI safety and security. Google tells CNBC it will be urging U.S. policymakers to find a global consensus on standards, saying AI is a cross-border technology. And BSA, a software trade group that counts IBM and Microsoft among its members, says there's no, quote, one-size-fits-all approach to mitigating AI risk and it's arguing for tailoring risk assessments to specific systems. Frank will continue to track the comments as they come in today, but what's clear so far is there will be no shortage of opinions and no shortage of money to influence AI policy. Yeah, I think we know when there's money to be made, there's going to be lobbying by a lot of companies across the board. So I want to talk about regulation for a minute. Are we more likely to see regulation from the White House or Capitol Hill? There's obviously been a big push on AI uh, regulation and just trying to figure out guardrails for it throughout this last year. Definitely. Everybody sort of wants to have a piece here. And lawmakers on Capitol Hill have been talking about this a lot. It's been a bipartisan issue. But I think you and I both know that the nature of Washington is there's not a lot that's likely to come out of Capitol Hill on such a complicated issue, especially in an election year, which means that the action is coming from the executive branch. It's coming from the White House. President Biden signed that executive order back in October. The teeth of it are, are really starting to come into play here now. We're likely to see regulation amping up from the Commerce Department and other agencies moving forward just in the next couple of months. All right, our Megan Casella with more on a really good story on AI regulate, uh, excuse me, AI lobbying. Talking about regulation, but we're talking about AI lobbying. Megan, great to see you. Thank you.